Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Microbiology with Zumi. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Today's topic is primary screening techniques. So let's start with it. Let's start with the primary screening technique. Detection and isolation of industrially important microorganisms from mixed population using simple techniques is called as primary screening technique. So here industrially important microorganisms are detected and isolated from a mixed population of microorganisms by using simple techniques. In primary screening technique, simple methods are used to detect valuable microorganisms based on certain biochemical characters of microbe. Now microorganisms contains specific biochemical characters and on the basis of that biochemical characters the valuable microorganisms are detected by using different screening techniques. Generally the sample is collected, serially diluted and isolated on suitable agar medium by specific techniques. Now let's see the examples of primary screening. Here I am going to give you three basic examples of primary screening. The first one is screening of antibiotic producing microorganisms, screening of organic acid or amine producing microorganisms and third one is screening of organisms producing vitamin, amino acid and growth factors. So let's start one by one. Let's start with the first example screening of antibiotic producing microorganisms. Here crowded plate technique is used. Soil is used as a source of sample. Soil is serially diluted in sterile distilled water. Further 0.1 ml is used and spread inoculated on agar medium. Further these plates are incubated at room temperature for 24 to 48 hours. The agar plates with 300 to 400 colonies are selected and the plates having well isolated colonies are selected. This well isolated colonies show clear zone of inhibition of other microorganisms. Now if the microorganism that is a colony which we are selecting the well isolated colony shows clear zone of inhibition. Now this zone is due to production of antibiotic. Now when a colony produces antibiotic, it releases its antibiotic in the vicinity that is it releases it in the surrounding of the colony and shows the zone of inhibition that is it shows the clear zone. Further due to production of antibiotics, these colonies are further isolated on desired medium. Now when a colony shows a clear zone of inhibition due to production of antibiotics, these colonies are further isolated on desired medium. Further subcultured growth is purified by restricting. Now when we identify a colony as antibiotic producing colony, that colony is subcult subcultured and the growth is purified by restricting it on another fresh medium plate. And further the stock culture is maintained and used for further studies. Now second one is screening of organic acid or amine producing microorganisms. Here soil, milk and milk product is used as a source of sample. Further the samples are serially diluted and spread inoculated on agar medium. Further incubated at optimum temperature for suitable period of time. Now after incubation well isolated colonies are selected and re-isolated on nutrient media. Now this nutrient media should fulfill all nutrient requirements of that microorganism that is it should provide carbon and nitrogen source as well as it should contain a pH indicator dye like neutral red or bromothymol blue as well as the medium should be poorly buffered because minor change in pH can be detected easily. If the medium is poorly buffered then a minor change also can be detected easily. Now change in color of media determines whether acid is produced or amine is produced. Here we provide the media with nutrient sources as well as pH indicator dye and it is poorly buffered because 
if there is any minor change in the pH, the color of the media changes and the change in color determines whether acid is produced or amine is produced. Now there is one more method of screening of organic acid production. Now here instead of using pH indicator dye, the medium we provide calcium carbonate. The calcium carbonate is added in the nutrient medium instead of pH indicator dye. The organic acid produced by organisms dissolve the calcium carbonate and show clear zone around the colony. So if the colonies produce organic acid, this organic acid will dissolve calcium carbonate and ultimately the colonies will show clear zone around them. Further, organic acid producing colonies are selected, isolated and stock is maintained. Now the third one is screening of organisms producing vitamins, amino acids and other growth factors. Now here suitable source is selected. Now that suitable source may be soil, milk, milk products or any source can be selected here. Now these samples are serially diluted, inoculated on suitable agar medium. Now here this agar medium which we are using for inoculation is without any vitamin, amino acid or metabolite. Now the nutrient medium should contains, contain all required essential nutrients except the metabolite or growth factor that is under consideration. Medium plates are incubated at optimum temperature and time. Further, these incubated colonies are checked for production of excess metabolites. Now, microorganisms use some metabolites for its growth and excess amount of metabolites are secreted outside in the vicinity of a colony. So, here simply a suitable source is selected. It is serially, dilute, serially diluted, inoculated on a suitable agar medium and that medium doesn't contain any vitamins, amine, amine, uh, amino acids or metabolites. Now it should fulfill all growth requirements but without the metabolites which we are under consideration. Now further this media plates are incubated at optimum temperature and time and after incubated the colonies are checked for production of metabolites. Now if the colonies produce metabolite it uses some amount of metabolites for its own growth and excess amount of metabolites are secreted outside the outside in the vicinity of the colony. This was all about primary screening technique. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel.